Force Employment Exercise um, that aims to bring together large numbers of aircraft and the aircrew that go with them to plan tactically representative missions against a high-end adversary. It's been quite a privilege to be part of such a large exercise. It's uh, the largest multinational exercise that takes part in uh, the UK. And it's gone, it's gone very well. So it is the capstone exercise for our Qualified Weapons Instructors course. Uh, and they've all done very well on, on, on the course. Um, and this is kind of the culmination of seven months worth of training. You can't run a, uh, a Kameo exercise, a tactical exercise, without all of the air power enablers in place. And uh, that's the whole point of this exercise, is to bring together the intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance assets, to bring together the tanker, the tanker aircraft that are operating in there, the support that comes from um, experts in the space domain, intelligence briefers, uh, and people who understand that, people who understand command and control and battle space management, and integrate all of those capabilities in a high-end exercise so that you both exercise all of the front line across the Royal Air Force, uh, but also deliver that air power role that can only come from applying all of the air power roles at the same time. Well, I think uh, it's very good training since the RAF has a very high standards, so uh, it's one of the reasons we're coming here. We're uh, really looking forward to continue this kind of training also in the future. So we're testing the participants and uh, giving them quite wicked problems to solve that may not always be uh, things that they can actually solve, that they may need to go back to higher headquarters and seek priorities and then um, really dive into the depths of the problem. Um, the exercise has been an enormous success.